my husband was like, why? Why do you need her? It's like, I don't know, but I do. So here she is. Here we are inside Relics Antique Mall in Springfield, Missouri. Oh my goodness, so many beautiful things. Hope you enjoy. That's amazing, for real. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a wine cooler. It's only eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Trying to see the price, but I can't. Probably means I don't want to. get the price. I can't see the price. He is 785. But oh my word, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, I just had to share this. I love it. I'm not going to get it, but I want it. McCoy, she's $32.95, but it's gorgeous. I'd really kind of like to have this, but I got an eggnog set last year, so probably not going to happen.
Hmm, where would I put this? What is it about these cuff and collar boxes? I just love them. I found one and she's $4.95. Look at her. Miniature portrait, morning hair weave, five eighty-five. Oh my goodness, look at <gasps> beautiful. Just a tiny. I really love the color and the crazing on this piece. There's a little devil back there. He's kind of different. Fun. Oh my word. What is this? Vintage paper trick or treat bag. That's pretty awesome. Then, I really want this girl. My husband thinks I'm crazy, but I think I'm crazy like a fox. It says 1965 Wizard of Oz hand puppet, $12. How can I leave that for $12, you guys? I don't think I can. and I got some goodies. The hubby has been waiting patiently. <laughs> I got her at Relics. That was the next place we went. So we might as well get into that haul. She's just one of those sweet little brides. Open your eyes. Oh, wake up. There we go. She's awake. But I loved her beautiful face. I love the color of her hair. And her beautiful eyes and she will go in my cabinet with the brides and grooms I paid ten dollars for her my husband was like why why do you need her it's like I don't know but I do so here she is then I got this weirdo love her you saw her in the video that I shared yeah love her and you can find these online and they're very inexpensive 
think I saw them anywhere from like $10 on up. So if you want one, get you one. She's great. She it was listed as 1965 uh, Wizard of Oz Witch puppet. I'm not going to mess with her too much because she's starting to tear. But I just had to have her. I told my husband, I said, if I leave her here, I'm going to regret it. So I'd rather get her, regret buying her, and then resell her. But I'm not going to. She's staying with me. I got these guys. They were $19. I love them. I think it was a very wise purchase for me because I love them and they work and they're from 1995 Trend Masters. So I'll insert a clip of them lit up. You will love them too. Then as we were leaving Relics, this was in the case calling my name. Don't know why, but look at it. It said antique. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure that it's an antique, but it, I know she's old. I know she's old and it's beautiful. Here's the back side. I don't know if this would have been gone on a hat, like a, a hat band for military because uh, the one thing that I saw when I looked it up is it was like for a Greek, uh, Greek independence, I don't even remember, the independence war, and it would have been worn by an officer during that time. But you know what? That's a long time ago, so I don't think they had tin back then. I don't know. Let me know what you think of this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I mean, really. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, I forgot to share one of my favorite things I got at Relics. Who am I kidding? Everything was my favorite thing, or I, I wouldn't have bought the stuff, because I think I'm going to hoard most of it. But I think I shared her in a video. Look at Look. One of my babies. I found another baby. And I believe she was $4.99. It's in the video. I just can't recall. Oh, there's a bird. Sounded funny. Startled me. Anyway, love her. She's holding her baby doll. And she will go in the case. With these little weirdos. I'm looking at the wrong place. I want to look over here and I need to be looking over there. Sorry. It's just, it's the way these phones are, it's just kind of strange. Well, I hope you like all the goodies that I picked up. My neighbor's gone by. Let's let them go by. Okay, my neighbors went by. See the dust? Yeah, that's why my house is so dusty. It's okay, though. I love living in the country. I'm not complaining. Not one bit. Okay, maybe just a little. <laughs> if I was rich, we'd, I'd probably pave the road. But, you know, what can you do? I am just tickled to death with the goodies that I got this week at the thrift store. And then, you know, we went yesterday, had a really good time. Stopped on our way to Springfield, like I said, there at Walnut Grove, Cat's Eye. Then we went to Relics Antique Mall. And that place is huge. Absolutely huge. I just knew I was going to find something. I spent, uh, I think, $50 there and $60 at Cat's Eye. And I feel like I did really good. But my thrift, my thrift haul this week was amazing, too. I really love the Ten Commandments uh, print lithograph. That frame is just awesome. It's beautiful. <sighs> I don't want to give it up. Will Michelle actually have the strength to give up the Ten Commandments print that you have not seen yet because you haven't seen the thrift haul? What will she actually take to our antique mall booths? Be sure to tune in to the next video to find out. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for being here.